Well, February, know it or not, is American Heart Health Month, and according to the Centers for Disease Control, heart disease is a leading killer for both men and women in this country. However, it is extremely preventable. We're going to talk about that this morning with Dr. Mario Leba with the Loveless Medical Group. Good morning, Dr. Leba. Thanks for coming. Good morning. Coming. How are you? I'm well, thanks. And yourself? I'm doing well, I thank hope you. I am healthy. I hope my heart is healthy. Yeah, you know. Well, we're going to talk about how healthy people's hearts are here in New Mexico right now. And the truth is, it's not very good, is it? No, it's not. You know, New Mexico, like many parts of the country, there's a epidemic of heart disease, and there's many things that can contribute to that. But you know, here in New Mexico, what do you think about? You think about you know our lifestyle, our mm -hmm. culture, the way we eat, and you know the heart, how we work, and so forth. All these things contribute to lack of heart, uh, you know, awareness, and uh, eventually your heart takes a takes a hit. Okay, let's talk about that. The way we eat. Traditionally, how is the way a lot of people eat in New Mexico not good for their heart? It may taste really darn good, <laughs> but in the long run, it's necessarily not, right? Well, you, you know, at least from when I grew up, right, you wanted to eat some, we are just talking about these restaurants, all these good mm -hmm. food, the, you yeah. know, enchiladas, the, the beans, the, the uh, you know, the, the way they're made, queso, the, the cheese, and so forth. Unfortunately, a lot of lard. A lot of lard. Not good for the heart, is it? No, it's not good for the heart. You know, it's just, it's one of those things where, you know, if you want to eat fruits and vegetables, it'd be a lot better, but it, you know, it doesn't taste as well. So yeah. sometimes you just default to the things that are easier or, um, you know, that taste good and, and that sometimes it can make, a, you know, for a bad thing. So we call it comfort food. That's it's com not healthy food. It's comfort food. <laughs> That's right. And then there's the other issue you touched on is exercise. I mean, it's, it's easy to be sedentary. Let's just face it. We're busy. We work. You work at a desk. A lot of people do. We don't work like our ancestors That's did. That's right. Yeah. You know, it's it, it very. It really is hard. I mean, you go to work all day. You get home and you're like, well, can I go to the gym? Well, I'm tired. I got to go to work tomorrow. And you get into that mode, right? Mm -hmm. You forget that you know tomorrow. Put it off till tomorrow. And next thing you know, tomorrow comes and it's again same thing. So what you want to do is you want to find these lifestyle changes that you know even go slow that will be a long impact and you can sustain them like just like we talked about the dan day of dance yeah. things that help your heart make things that are fun I, I think fun is the key it doesn't have to be this oh my gosh i gotta go exercise i'm dreading this that's never gonna work for most no, people no. okay you, um you talk about this how much do just little steps make a difference you don't gotta jump on top of mount everest today you just go take a little step here or there it could be with the food it could be with exercise a little bit of both you know rome wasn't built in a day you hear that saying you yeah. start slow Whatever your skill is, you know, if you're 18 years old again and you're healthy, well, then maybe you can start a little faster. If you're a little older, then you start slow. Just get out, go for a walk. Get in the mor get up in the morning, find some friends, get up for go for a walk. Um, as you get more advanced, do a couple of different things, and I mean, just think about it. If it's fun, do it, and as long as you're getting your heart working, that's a good thing. Yeah, if you need some tips, we have a workout Wednesdays here. There's some information online at CASA.com. And with food, maybe just, I assume, try to cut back on some of the that artery-clogging stuff, some of the full-fat cheese, some of the lard, uh, maybe work in fruits and vegetables. You're right. You know, you want to try to, uh, the fruits and vegetables are actually very important. Um, you know, cut back on some of the red meats, uh, the fatty foods, the lards. I mean, s smaller portions, way to start. And then as you go on, change up your diet, look into uh, a couple other things that maybe might, uh, you know, taste better. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, you've you got a healthy diet and you start slow and you sustain. Yeah, and fruits and vegetables, you can really cook some good stuff with it. You may just have to try some new, new cooking ideas. That's right. And when do we know, when is it time to go see a doctor, such as yourself, about our heart health? You know, I think you should at least see a doctor, you know, your, for your yearly physical and so forth. But if you start having symptoms, you're getting shortness of breath, you, you can't get up to go, you know, walk to do your daily activities. These are things that are kind of warning signs. I should go see my doctor. You're having some flushing. You don't feel well. Mm. Anything that doesn't seem the way it had been and it's out of the ordinary, maybe I should go see my doctor and, uh, you know, get checked out. Never hurts for ne a checkup. Never Dr. hurts. Dr. Mario Leba from Loveless. Thanks for coming Thank in. Thank you. It was a good review of a lot of reminders that people just, you know, we get in the rut of daily life, we forget about these sure. things. Thank you. Good to see you.